My name's Steve Rosenberg. I'm a urologist in the Iowa Clinic. I've been here since the inception. And one thing we've noticed recently, uh, probably because of changing social norms, is that we see couples, um, and actually specifically men, at older ages now coming to talk to us about fertility. In urology, we deal with the male aspect of fertility um, much more than the female. So I can speak to that more, uh, more directly. With females, there's a hard stop in fertility at menopause. With men, we don't have that same issue. And so men that are older and older are beginning to talk to us about having children. Uh, people are marrying at an older age. Uh, people are in second marriages, sometimes with large uh, gaps in ages and uh, uh, makes sense that fertility is on the table in those situations. Uh, with men after age 40, sperm counts and the quality of the ejaculate generally does diminish some, but there are a lot of examples of celebrity pregnancies in men well into their 60s, 70s, and 80s, so it's certainly possible. We work closely with the uh, female gynecologic endocrinologist and have a unified uh, program to try and address both the male and the female factors. And many times we're successful in achieving pregnancies in people well over 40. Often we're dealing with divorces and remarriages. Um, in those cases, many times the men have had a vasectomy uh, vasectomy reversal is something that's very possible. Uh, considering vasectomy as a permanent form of sterilization, uh, the fact that it's reversible successfully is a surprise to many people, but we can actually get sperm back in the ejaculate 80 to 90%, 80 to 90% of the time if the vasectomy was done 10 or less years prior and we still have good results even out beyond 10 years. Vasectomy reversal is something that's a little more involved than vasectomy. Uh, that's an office procedure done with the patient, generally wide awake, just with some local anesthesia. A vasectomy reversal takes longer, requires a general anesthetic. Usually insurance doesn't pay for it, but it is very successful and is a means to achieve pregnancy even if the male has already reached a decision to have permanent sterilization sometime earlier in their life in a previous uh, relationship. The take home point for me is that if you and your partner are interested in having children, adding to your family, it's very likely possible. In spite of ages that in the past would be considered too old, it's very likely possible. In spite of prior vasectomies, it's very likely possible. We'd like to have an opportunity to talk to you about it if that's something that's in the back of your mind or in the front of your mind. Um, please call and make an appointment. We really think we have a lot to offer.